guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Serena. Just in case you guys forgot about me, I'm alive. <laughs> Sadly. I don't know. I miss you guys. Like, I feel like you guys who watch my YouTube videos are the OGs, so I really appreciate you guys. Yeah, so for this video, I'm just going to do like a little catch up, see what's going on in my life, if anyone still cares. So yeah, uh, how are you guys doing? I'm going to try my best to stick with this video. There was a couple times throughout this month where I picked up my camera and just, I don't know, like I get, I get so camera shy and I get really down about myself and like, I'm so tired of it. Like I'm so tired of seeing my life just go by and like having all my self doubts and like insecurities holding me back from the things that I wanna do. So I'm sick of it. And today I am fighting those thoughts and that's why I pulled out my camera. So here you guys are if this ever makes it to you too. But yeah, so update on my life. I am almost finished with school. I have one semester left, so about like six weeks or something. I graduate in May. I graduate with my psychology degree, so I'm going to be diagnosing every single one of them. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I have no idea what I wanna do after school yet. I definitely want to start like personal training. I think that will just feel so fulfilling, like helping people one-on-one. -on -one. Later on down the road, maybe if I want to be a therapist, because I really want to look into being a therapist for people with eating disorders and helping them because that just hits home for me. So almost done with school. I got my PC in, which is very exciting because I'm super excited to start playing games with you guys. Another thing I'm going to do is a full day of eating because I know a lot of people asked about those. So I'm gonna do one for my next video. I don't know, I think that's kind of what I'm working with right now. I'm just trying to get through each day. <laughs> the clips I'm gonna show you is from my workout a couple days ago. So enjoy those, I guess. <laughs> front? Oh, I know what angle you want. You tell me. My big belly. <laughs> <laughs> Look good, babe. Really? Yeah. Man. Ten likes and I'll hop on steroids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So a lot of people ask, some people ask, if I do steroids. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. All right, you see this thing right here? Focus. So, Derek, more plates, more dates, shout out to you. He was kind enough to send me a lot of these Turktesterones to give it a try. And I've been on it for about like a couple months now. And honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's more like a psychological thing, but I kind of reached like my natural um, limit of like how big I could get or how strong I could get. So Turktesterone is an extra boost if you're a natural athlete and you do not want to go on something hardcore. This helped me kind of push past my barrier of my natural potential a little bit and I definitely felt like I gained a lot of bit, a bit of strength with it. Like my deadlifts, I've been doing like 315 for reps and 320 for reps and that never happens. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm just getting stronger or if it's this, but that's something to take into account. And I also felt like I was staying leaner at the same time while gaining some strength. Yeah, so shout out to you, Derek. These are doing well for me. 
But yeah, that's the only thing I take. I take like six capsules a day. But one thing I really want to touch on is don't think that if you're going to hop on one of these, you're going to get huge and it's like a steroid. It's not. It's not at all. He makes a whole bunch of videos saying it may work or it may not work for other people. And then he just says, take it as a grain of salt. It is expensive. So I was fortunate enough that he sent me them. I highly recommend if you feel like you kind of just don't know what else to do. And it's a fun little experiment to try and see if it works for you. So that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is Samira, my sister, my hairstylist. Oh. She fucks it up, then it's all her fault. Computer setup time! <laughs> Welcome to my game room. Well, that mattress is not gonna be there. Should we just like push it up against the wall? <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh, <laughs> Alright, this is my new PC since my other one broke. And before you guys come at me, I only had store credit for Best Buy, so this was the best option that I could choose from. Or else I would have built my own PC or had someone else build it for me. Oh! <laughs> oh shit, it came with a keyboard already? And a mouse. Alright guys, today is an exciting day. I am going to finally, finally get a new car because sadly my Honda died on me. Um Cups of the rose. Bitches in my old phone. In the middle of the freeway, it just it just decided to just die. But that means I finally get a new car. I've been waiting for this moment because I just wanted to drive my Honda to the ground until I can't drive no more. And it finally happened, but I'm also really sad because I hate spending money. I'm off to Santa Fe um, to go and see my new car. <laughs> I had my eye on this car for a while. Um, it's kind of up there, guys. It's, I don't know if you guys heard of a Lamborghini, but <laughs> I almost had a heart attack. So I was on the phone and they were saying like, okay, you can't get the car today because their airbag something ain't working and you can't drive it out. And I was like, wait, you guys never said anything about that. I was planning to get my car today. But, so I was really upset. We were already in the car to go make our way down to Santa Fe to get my car. And then I was like, wait, what color is the car? And they were like, peppermint white. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, are you sh wait, I don't know if I'm colorblind, but I saw it was a red car. Um, so then I just, I ended up calling the wrong dealer. So <laughs> this is the story of the day. We are in the building. Well, outside the building. I don't know what car I'm getting in. Oh, oh. The Lambo's in the showroom. Yeah, you guys can't see it yet. Hey guys, so I couldn't afford any other car. So, I got this bad boy. <laughs> Vouchers. Okay. She <laughs> robbed a bank. <laughs> Maybe she did. No. That's pretty cool. Buying a car in cash, not a lot of people could say that. I'm in semen. You excited? All right, it's officially yours. All right. I have to unlock it. Yeah, there you go. All right. Oh, it's so sweet. Let's start it up. You didn't know it was a stick? You didn't know it was a, you didn't know it was a stick? Are you kidding me? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll take it back. <laughs> Bang! You have to drive it. <laughs> I will teach you. <laughs> yeah, we got some oiler that comes up. Oh, it comes up? Oh! <laughs> Get out, Mika! I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> You have to, can't just press drive. I tried putting it in drive. You gotta put the clutch in. Allows you to engage the gear. You can't change gears without the clutch in. The clutch is the third pedal on the left. Does it feel like it's in? Yeah. 
I don't think the seat could go any up. Yeah, it can. Clutch out. Never driven stick before. You can't just give up because you couldn't get started. Nothing is impossible. You couldn't. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> Do it. Try it again. Hey guys. Okay, I'm just gonna close off this video here. Um, it has been a very interesting video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little adventure on this video honestly a little bit shooken up and so i kind of just want to like end this video here and not got news this morning that my dog got run over luckily he's okay i was really like freaking out and scared i am not with my dog my mom has it at our hometown and just don't speed in neighborhoods like that girl was literally going so fast and my dog she he, she didn't even see my dog and uh you guys know how scary it is when you're animal your little fur baby gets hurt my mom just took him to the vet there's no broken bones or anything he's just really shaken up and he has bad road burn luckily he's a fast little dog so got out under the car as soon as he could he's okay though so i'm very grateful about that so yeah that was my morning update on the car i still don't know how to drive it so determined to learn i didn't buy this car for nothing you know i gotta i gotta use it i can't be scared <laughs> anyway i hope you guys have a great day or night whenever you're watching this please like and subscribe and comment down below of what videos you guys would like me to do i'm just very excited to start getting back on my youtube game okay bye guys